Hello and welcome. Choice point is on. And the choice point today I want to talk about is truth. And yes, I mean truths with S at the end and plural. And really, what triggered me over the last couple of days is where can your heart take you? And I want to talk with you about a video I have watched by a guy, guy, a professor <laughs> called um, Matthias Des Desmet. And he is a Belgium psychologist who speaks at the European Parliament. And I find it very interesting. His, his expertise in psychology is about the rise of totalitarianism the technocracy, the propaganda, and all of that. So it really brought back the academic in me. As obviously he is talking about our time and our important choice point, truth. And I feel it is the heart that can take us somewhere else. More than 20 years ago, when I was an academic, I was reading Manufacturing Concept by Naum Chomsky, which goes kind of in the same direction. It is talking about how we are following, how we stop thinking, how we stop being, and how we just get caught up in propaganda and in media that is possibly not true, and how we lose the truth in our heart. So, I want to talk with you about this today. Because yes, this is going on and we cannot ignore it. There is an elite that is kind of working with the masses that are following, but we have a choice point. And we are the ones who really need to choose. Is this where we want to go? Or do we want to go in New Earth? One way or another, our beloved planet, Pachamama, Gaia, Papa Tunuku, is going to shift. She's rebirthing. She cannot take all the abuse that has occurred, the exploitation. She cannot take it anymore and she is not going to take it. Earth has always rebirthed and evolved and we are at such a point again. Earth doesn't need us, but we need Earth. So this is one very important point that we do need to consider. We cannot live out of tins. We cannot live out of food that comes out of factory. This is just a tiny little piece that I want to share with you. We also cannot separate ourselves from the universe, from this cosmos. Through the ages, we can see that correlation, that connectedness with how the planets moved, with the ages from the Taurian age into Aries and then into Pisces that is now finishing. We cannot change what is happening in the cosmos and this earth and we are part of the cosmos. And for many of us, of course, we are very aware we are starseeds. We even come from the cosmos. So I really would like you to consider where can your heart take you? Through time, when we incarnated here on Earth, choosing a human physical vehicle to serve here, to learn, there was always a change from the Neanderthals to the Chromo whatever, and now from the Homo sapien and Homo luminous. We cannot change that. This is happening. So what does it mean to you? Where can your heart take you? We are all ascension archetypes. If we, if we resonate or if we refuse it or if we ignore it or if we are embracing it because we are all new archetypes. We are all stepping into a new consciousness, a new frequency that can be measured. Schumann frequencies, light quotient, it's all here. Where can your heart take you? 
we are in a cosmic sink. So we're moving together with the cosmos. And the cosmos is actually supporting us. So when we separate, that we have since the Aryan age, about 4,000 years ago, we are not going anywhere because we cannot fight it. We are one, we are not separated. So what is that new consciousness that we can step into? Where can your heart take you? It's a choice point. And for me, today it's about choice point truth. And when I say truth, I mean what is true to you. What is true to your integrity as in your wholeness? Not about duality, right and wrong and good and bad, no. To your integrity as your wholeness. And that applies not only for us uniquely, but actually for us as a whole, as the collective. So I hope I can inspire you a little bit. I hope I can open your heart as we are shifting from homo luminous into homo luminous. I got a lot of messages and I'm, I'm, I'm really guided in this, in the whole field of consciousness architecture. The, arc, the operating system heart is already activated. The operating system mind is not quite disactivated yet, but it will be regardless of what anybody wants. Is it symbolic? Maybe. But it's true. And this is the most important part. The operating system mind of Homo sapiens was based in survival. And if you look of our hist in our history over the last 4,000 years on the planet, we were living in survival. When you're living in survival, you're living in fear, you live in scarcity. You live in drama and its roles. You live in duality and control over. As we are coming into this operating system, heart, and by the way, we're teaching this now. This is one of our four choices that we're teaching here in the Sacred Valley Magic. But when we go back home into the jungle, we will continue because this goes for three months. When we go there into the heart, it's based in love. And love goes with compassion and abundance. Everything is more than enough when we are in harmony and when we are in sacred relationship. It's actually very simple. In our heart, we have always been connected. We have never been separated. And we always had the power to create together. So where can your heart take you? I want to finish this kind of short, not really short video with a little sound and I'm looking across to these beautiful ruins of the Ucho Cusco that we visited a couple of years ago and we drove up and walked down but when we reached there it felt so so home and I'm not really the Andean guy I'm really a jungle boy but up there there was something very special and when a couple of weeks ago already when an archaeologist, a young archaeologist, was sharing with me. He said that Pachacuti Inca was the one who built this up there for his parents. And I have a very strong connection to Pachacuti Inca. So let's tune in. Let's see what the message is from Pachacuti Inca, from these mountains, from your heart and from mine. That is a representation of the cosmic heart, heart conscious living and being, and also source, because source is the heart of all. So let's tune in and see the language and the music that wants to come through. So you get clear where your heart can take you. Ohane amano narera tomane aho karita maya ho torame 
Koramena hoya Konare Tirama Karayo Charoka nare ho, charakarama, charaka name ho, charaka tara. So where does this song, this language take you? Blessed to be with you, happy that we are in this together, that in a way we are one and yet unique, and happy that we can share this time, this life together. Much love from my heart to yours.